Two years ago, my collaborator Gina Gianfrido and I worked together here in Boston on Becky Shaw. And we are very happy to be back together again working on Gina Gianfrido's Rapture Blister Burn. She's one of the few writers that can write the way Stoppard writes, that can introduce plays of ideas in such a way that makes you uh, just feel incredibly happy to be in that theater and to be engaging those ideas. And when you go into Gina's plays, you know that when you're gonna go into those dark waters, at least you'll be laughing. And I think that's one of the things that makes her so special. Gina is deeply gifted at pinpointing the darker aspects of what motivates human behavior and doing it in a way that doesn't feel cynical with this play with Rapture, Blister, Burn. Gina goes into feminist theory in order to build an intellectual, a philosophical foundation for the drama and the comedy and the story, the intimate details of the lives that ride on top of, 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 of the play. You're inside this dynamic world of ideas with characters that you care deeply about. And as you're, un as you're understanding and connecting the dots with the theoretical frame that's underneath the play, you're also connecting the dots emotionally with the choices the characters are making in their own lives. So you're seeing these three generations of women trying to really grapple through and work their way through the past 50 years of feminist theory and the choices they've made in their own lives. One of the exciting things in New York was seeing generations of women in the audience, uh, seeing women bringing their grandchildren and mothers bringing their children and sisters coming together um, and, and seeing multiple generations respond to the play. Even though they would say they believe in the ideals of the feminist movement, that nothing had come along recently that allowed them to tap into that. You know, that when they were trying to tap into feminism, they felt like they were tapping into something in the past. And I actually think Gina's written an incredibly, you know, a new feminist play. You know, if we are in the fourth wave of feminism, I think this is one of the leading documents of that wave.